Welcome to Biodynamic Studios. In this video, we'll learn how to pair the transmitter and the receiver of the Unite system. Transmitters and receivers must be paired to enable them to communicate with one another. To do this, the same pairing information must be stored in the transmitter and receiver. This consists of group name, group ID, and audio key, which is generated in the charger or in the Unite Manager PC software. Pairing can be done in one of three ways, via a single cockpit charger, through the Unite Manager PC software, or by the receiver's dynamic channel search. To use the system in parallel with several groups, each group name must be unique. Enter the desired group name on the body pack transmitter. To do this, first switch on the transmitter, open the menu, and select the System option. Select the channel name submenu. Now use the function button to select the letters of the name and confirm them by pressing the OK button. A maximum of five characters can be entered for each channel name. Confirming the last letter saves the new channel on the body pack transmitter. Now, insert the transmitter and the receivers that are to be paired with the transmitter into the charger. To transmit pairing information from the transmitter to the receivers in the charging bays and to the charger itself for future pairings, hold down the pair slash reset button on the charger for more than two seconds. The status light will now flash yellow. The mobile devices in the charger will flash yellow during the pairing process. They will then return to green when charging is complete. The pairing information stored in the charger can now be conveniently transmitted to other receivers. Slide the switch on the charger to pair and charge and insert the receiver into the charger. If you wish to use the charger for charging purposes only, slide the switch to charge only. To delete pairing information stored in the charger, hold the pair slash reset button down for longer than five seconds. The charger status light will then remain green. To ensure additional protection against unauthorized listening, you can also use different group IDs for different groups. When pairing, an individual audio key is also created for each group ID in the 1 to 149 range and transmitted to the individual devices. Receivers that have not received the individual audio key through pairing cannot connect to the corresponding master device. In order to use this additional encryption, proceed as follows. On the transmitter, set the group ID you wish to use for pairing. To do this, switch on the body pack transmitter and open the menu and select the system option. Then select the group ID sub item. Now select the desired group ID from the 1 to 149 range and repeat the pairing process with the charger. Pairing information created in an individual charger during the pairing process cannot be transmitted to other chargers. You can store pairing information in a file and transmit it to other chargers using our Unite Manager software, which is available free of charge. For receivers to connect to transmitters, the coupling information must match. This consists of channel name, group ID, and audio key. In the group ID range 1 to 149, an individual audio key is generated during each pairing procedure. In the group ID range of 150 to 256, a common audio key is used, which is stored in all Unite devices. In this ID range, receivers can easily pair with transmitters without the need for a charger.
The only requirement is that the receiver has the same group ID from the 150 to 256 range as the transmitter. As an example, we have set three body pack transmitters with different group names to the common group ID 160. Now, set the group ID 160 on one receiver and start the channel selection. Press one of the channel buttons on the receiver and a prompt will appear asking you if you want to change the channel. If you confirm this query with yes, any connection to a transmitter is terminated and all channels in the set group ID range are scanned. Within a few seconds, the receiver lists all transmitters within range with the group ID 160. Use the channel buttons to select the desired channel and confirm it with the OK button. Afterwards, the connection setup starts. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to have a look at our other videos on the Unite Digital Wireless Communication System.